Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Climate Club. Today is very special because we're going to continue our discussion about liquid cooling and I've got a friend across to help me. So I've got Ralph Schneider from Rital HQ in Germany and we're going to be talking about the Blue E chiller in more detail. So check it out. Right, so we'll start the interview. Hello, Ralph. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I think we'll dive straight into the questions. Uh, got a couple of questions here. I want to talk about the Blue E chiller with you. Uh, so the first question I've got is, obviously, we know that chillers are a powerful tool uh, for cooling electrical equipment, obviously. But I find in many instances, they are overlooked by customers. So, you know, why should they consider using them in the next project? Well, Carl, first of all, I would like to thank you for the invitation and to talk with you about uh, our new Blue E chillers and uh, and our uh, cooling technology in, in general uh, becomes more and more important because uh, modern production processes require more and more advanced technology. And that means that the power loss in the machine equipment and also in control cabinets uh, uh, is uh, tremendously increasing. And for that, Rital offers for many years already some uh, highly efficient cooling solutions such, such as filter fans, uh, heat exchangers, compressor-based cooling units, and of course, chillers. And the um, advantage of chillers is that they are um, using water as a coolant for the uh, equipment cooling. And uh, the water does have 1,000 times higher uh, energy density than, for example, air. And that means uh, you can cool very efficiently high power losses in very small spaces. Mm. And uh, that enables, for example, a machine tool for a very high control accuracy uh, in spindle cooling, for example. That is important uh, because uh, consistent uh, temperatures uh, mean stable production conditions. And this is crucial for uh, very high level accuracy uh, of the end product. Mm. So um, we offer liquid cooling uh, in a very efficient and uh, economical uh, way. Yeah, no, that sounds great. And I think what you've said there about it being precise and, you know, high high quality of cooling, etc., is important. And like you said, people are packing more equipment inside of enclosures now, so they need that a thousand times more um, powerful than air sort of cooling solution in many in many occasions so no that's great um second question we have a lot of customers operating in many different markets so you know can they be used in many different industry sectors yes um, we have many uh, applications in very very different industries um, you know when we talk about a typical application for a chiller that is in the uh, within the engineering industry, for example, as I mentioned before, machine tool, the spindle cooling, for example, or uh, welding tongs and welding technology or laser technology. These are very uh, common industries we are using chillers in. But uh, you know, when you think uh, even further, we can use a lot of chillers, for example, in the food and beverage industry for cooling uh, machine parts and beverage filling or in the packaging. Uh, but also uh, chillers for some, some interesting applications, like, for example, wine fermentation. Yeah? Mm. There you also need uh, uh, chilled uh, fluids uh, to have the uh, wine fermentation process. Then plastics industry or uh, IT infrastructure are important. And we also do have a very interesting application, for example, in the textile industry. Here we supply many chillers to a manufacturer who is making lasers for the textile industry. And these lasers uh, uh, are able to give jeans a used look. You know, uh, the laser basically burns the surface of the jeans. And uh, yeah, um, that is much more environmentally friendly than to work with chemicals. Mm. And, you know, this laser is then cooled with retail chillers. So there are many, many different applications possible. Absolutely. I think you're right. And I think, you know, when I speak with customers, a lot of them don't realize the opportunities that are around them for using chillers. So it's definitely important to keep your eye out because like you've said, 
there's many different applications for a chiller, definitely. Great. Right, next one. Many businesses manufacture in the UK, and then we look to export our products across the world. But the Bluey chillers, are they going to be suitable for this sort of scenario? Absolutely. Well, retail chillers are developed, especially for our international active customers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, here in Europe, for example, we have to uh, apply the CE marking, uh, which uh, complies with the machine, the EMC, and the low voltage directive. And this is confirmed by the CE label on the nameplate of the machine. Uh, um, on request, uh, uh, we also supply uh, chillers with UL certified electrical components. This is important when you uh, want to export to the North American market. And another important uh, point is that uh, we also are not just looking for let's say, um, 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 uh, let's say uh, um, some, some uh, safety labels, but also some environmental uh, things. Uh, for example, uh, we are using in these chillers the so-called microchannel technology. Mm -hmm. Microchannel technology enables us to reduce the refrigerant charge of more than 40%. With that, you know, we're below the maximum filling amount, which is important in order to be in compliance with the um, F-gas uh, regulation in the uh, European uh, Union. Mm. That makes it much easier for our customers uh, to utilize these chillers, for example, in the European market. And that is, of course, also important for our British customers because that helps them to... Uh, export uh, their machine equipment, let's say, to the European or to the North American market. Absolutely. That is a really good point. You know, the easier and less paperwork that we can have to ship our products worldwide will definitely make it easier for the customer. So, yeah, that's a great one. Okay, so next one. Uh, a chiller application can be customer specific on many projects. You know, when I talk to customers, uh, is it is it possible to have additional features on these chillers and make them personalized? That is possible, but I also have to say our standard chillers already do have a lot of um, uh, features which um, fulfill most of the requirements of our customers. For example, they have um, uh, fixed temperature control or an ambient temperature control as a standard feature. Now, this temperature control is within the hysteresis of plus minus two Kelvin. For some applications, that is too wide and uh, customers uh, require more precise temperature control. But that is also another standard feature we have uh, with, with the so called hot gas bypass control. Mm. Hot gas bypass means that the compressor is running continuously and uh, you are bypassing uh, the performance of the compressor so that you are able to provide a very stable temperature. In this case of plus or minus 0 0.25 Kelvin. Yeah? Mm. Um, another important standard feature is, for example, the water bypass uh, in order to protect the pump from overload and an integrated water level sensor. And then you mentioned some, some other options. Of course, if a customer wants to have a more powerful pump, he can get that from us. He can get it with an integrated heating. So if he wants to not just maintain a maximum water temperature, but also minimum water temperature, yeah. um, he can have it with an outdoor installation package, uh, with a water-cooled condenser, or as I mentioned before, with a laser, with a non-ferrous uh, metal-free version for laser cooling. Mm, yeah. No, that's great. I think there, there's a myriad of different packages and configurations that can be done. It's great when talking to customers because they, they get that sense that they can have exactly what they need for their project. So that's excellent. Really good. Thank okay. You. And finally, these chillers cover a large performance range, but I was just wondering, is there any plans in the future to increase the capability of these chillers? Well, uh, Carl, you mentioned also an interesting point. Uh, right now we are covering with these special, uh, with these blue chillers, blue e chillers, the performance range from 11 to 25 kilowatt. Um, and uh, we uh, know that some applications require higher performance. 
in that regard to uh, we are trying to enlarge the cooling capacity up to 50 kilowatts so that means three more chiller sizes 30 40 and 50 kilowatt yeah that uh, with a performance range from 11 up to 50 kilowatt we're able to uh, cover more than 95 percent of all performance requirements of our customers yeah and these chillers are expected to come in the second half of this year excellent look forward to that then and obviously we'll uh, make customers aware when they're available but yeah that's exciting nice to always see some new product coming through bit of a sneak peek there for climate club viewers lovely so well ralph that's been really good thank you very much for all your time today thanks for answering the questions and i think customers will take a lot away from that so thank you very much thank you for having me thank no you problem. So thank you for watching this edition of Climate Club. I really hope you took something away from the interview with Ralph. Thank you again, Ralph, for helping me out on the interview. If you need any more information about our products, visit rital.co.uk. Keep your eyes peeled as well on the social media. We're doing more Climate Club videos in the future. So thanks for watching. And remember, it's never the wrong time to assess your climate control. See you next time.